Morning guys, how are you all doing? So yesterday went fantastically well. I obviously showed you that one clip uh, at the end of yesterday's video. I think it kind of um, just suited the place perfectly. But we got a whole bunch of footage. Uh, I mean, it, it, it took, took quite a long time. It took, took, took quite a long time. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we did get some great footage. Some of the stuff was definitely a learning curve. Uh, there was some like reflections. There was some bits we need to tidy up bits that definitely need to be redone but the little bit of time that we did have yesterday definitely gave us the kind of experience that we need to spend maybe a whole day at it and get the exact shots that we need for hopefully the whole video but that is going to take you know this is not going to be something that I'm going to knock out tomorrow like I do with a phone or something uh, this is going to take probably at least a, another couple of weeks to kind of get to that point where I've got the right footage uh, and start to put the right audio together as well that, that kind of goes with it, find the right music. I really want this video to be something that I've kind of put my all into, something like absolutely that I really, really am happy with because what I'm going to do with this is this will go out to all of the PR agencies and the car companies uh, to start looking at potentially reviewing other cars. The only thing I need to think about is exactly how I would go about doing that because even with two people it's actually quite difficult to get those kind of shots and it takes a long time. Um, this is not like indoors with a phone, perfect lighting, no reflections, easy peasy. Um, outside with all different lighting and a, and a huge surface area with all kinds of reflections and different curves and shapes and stuff is <laughs> significantly more difficult. And I know you can get off e easy shots and leave certain reflections in and stuff like that, but I really want this to be kind of my finest work uh, in terms of filming uh, and really show kind of what where I've come to in terms of my actual video work. You know, you guys only see me holding the iPhone or doing videos of phones, but I actually do a little bit more outside of that, and I really want that to be kind of represented in my car review. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. But I think that uh, that shot yesterday gave you an indication as to the sort of professional route that, that I'll be going down and, and how it will come out and how I want it to kind of look and feel. But adding it all together, adding music in, uh, at the right times, adding the right kind of voiceovers, saying the right things to act, to bring it all together. To I want it to be uplifting is the is the key point uh, to this review. That's my key word for the entire thing is uplifting. So it's not straightforward and it's going to take a little bit of time, uh, maybe even longer than a couple of weeks. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I learned a lot yesterday, a hell of a lot. So I think that will kind of carry me forward uh, quite nicely. But it is Saturday. And this morning I woke up at 4 a.m., can you believe it? And do you know what? I got up, I did a couple of hours of work, and I thought, fuck this, I'm going back to bed. So I went back to bed and woke up at half eight, which is really nice. Although I do feel much more tired than I did at four o'clock, because I think those little kind of naps like that for a couple of hours just make you feel more tired. But anyway, at least I got some extra sleep. So I've just got my cup of tea here and a couple of biscuits, so I'm going to have that. Saturday mornings for me are fantastic because they're totally peaceful. Uh, you can see I've got the company of the animals over here. I've got uh, Helix, Banshee and also Hannibal to chill out and watch for the, for the next couple of hours. And unfortunately it's the last episode of Banshee today. Uh, and Banshee definitely is probably one of my favourite TV shows. I absolutely love it. They only do 10 episodes per series so I'm gutted that I'm going to sort of lose that on my Saturday morning. But... The other two will go on and, and Hannibal has only just started again and looks to be another great season of Hannibal. So, uh, yeah, that's all good and I will be back with you uh, a little bit later. So the final episode of Banshee was absolutely epic and um, I can't give anything away because I know a lot of you have either watched it already or you've started watching it because I've kind of been uh, promoting it. You'd think I've, I have shares in it the way I go on about it. But, yeah, it was epic and, um, yeah, looking forward to next season, that is for sure. I also uh, watched Hannibal. Hannibal wasn't quite so good this week uh, as it has been the first two episodes. Uh, this one wasn't quite as good. And now I'm going to watch Helix, which is actually coming up to its finale as well. Uh, episode 13 will be the finale. We're on episode 11 at the moment. And it will probably get canned, I would imagine, after the first season, which is a real shame um, because the Sci-Fi Channel, not only have they spelled their name like a complete morons when they renamed it, but... They also produce absolute shit in terms of um, 
TV shows and series and Helix. Although it's not anywhere near like some of the best programs out there, it's the best thing that sci-fi have produced in a long, long time. So I think it'd be a shame if they canned it. Uh, also, there was a few um, series from uh, Amazon who have started obviously creating their own TV shows, much like uh, Netflix. And um, there was a couple in there that I really liked. There was one which was about a, a murder detective, uh, and I think he was a, uh, one of our actors, a Scottish guy or something. I can't remember, but he's familiar anyway. Um, and there was another one as well, uh, which was a kind of sci-fi type thing, where they were sort of trapped in this lift, and then they came out and all hell had broke loose. And these were just pilots that they put out for voting, and um, four out of the five that they put out are going to be made into series. So that one that I liked, and I think it was called The Afters or something like that, um, is going to be produced uh, as a series and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that continues. So anyway, that is my little uh, TV, what do you call it, critic uh, of the week session. And the time, what's the time now? Oh, it's quarter past 11. So I am going to uh, drag my ass out of the house, uh, go get myself uh, some fresh air. I'm going to take my camera out and go and do a bit of photography. So I will catch you guys a bit later. What's up, guys? So um, it's reasonably warm today, and this morning it looked absolutely beautiful, but the weather's gone to shit. <laughs> it really has. The sun is kind of out in the clouds, but um, yeah, it's, it's all gone a bit gammy. So I was planning on taking a little trip out to a, a, a model shop. Uh, it's not, not too far away from me, about 45 minutes, but the weather is pretty crappy, so I think I might uh, leave that alone. I put it out on uh, Twitter and Facebook this morning. I want to get uh, me and my son a uh, pair of uh, little uh, Nitro RC cars. A lot of people said, why don't you get the electric ones, but I really don't want to be waiting every, you know, play for 10 minutes, wait for half hour, play for 10 minutes, wait for half hour, or whatever the ratio is. Uh, it's just too long-winded, so to me, the, RC, uh, the um, Nitro ones, you know, you can just keep putting petrol in them. I know there's a bit of fiddling around and you need to leave them a little bit and whatnot and tweak the carbon and stuff, but um, for all intents and purposes, you know, you can run them a lot longer than you would uh, electric ones. So I wanted to go and uh, have a look at those, but I'm not going to go down there if the uh, weather's crappy. I'd rather get on with some work at home and um, wait till the weather gets good and then go down there. So that was going to be pretty much uh, sort of my mid-afternoon, that along with getting some lunch. But I think I'll just go home and crack on with some work um, and take advantage of the weather being crap. <laughs> so I have just been to a model shop the one I spoke to you guys about earlier the weather got significantly better it is 18 degrees Celsius which is definitely the best we've had so far and I picked up a little RC car so I took everyone's advice and went for the brushless motor one um, I only got one I wanted to get two but um, it was 400 pounds just for one so I didn't really want to be um, spending any more money than that so I think if I want to get a second one so we can both do it at the same time I'll have to wait for some point in the future because it's just too much money. So I went for a one called um, Century and the reason I did that is because their offices are about 20 minutes from my house um, and there's a model shop right next door to them uh, who sell all their stuff so it's be very easy for me to get help or bits or whatever I want. So. Uh, it was also significantly cheaper than the... Jesus, why would you want to attract attention to yourself in that? Um, yeah, so it was also significantly cheaper than the HPI Racing one, and it didn't seem like there was a huge amount of difference other than uh, some build quality. So, anyway, that is it. So I'm very much looking forward to um, plugging everything in, uh, charging up my batteries. I bought quite a few spare batteries, uh, and I got all of that for less than the HPI Racing one would have cost. Uh, and the, I got 5,350 milliamp batteries, uh, four of them, plus the two that came with it. So six batteries in total. It runs off two at a time. Um, but he said I should get about sort of 20 minutes or, or more um, for those batteries. So very much looking forward to uh, plugging everything in, charging it up, and um, seeing my son tomorrow and uh, having a play around. Because I haven't played with uh, electric RC cars since I was a child. So that is very exciting. Uh, now I'm just going to head back home. I've got to stop at the BMW garage to get an oil top up because every so often you have to put uh, like a one litre pack in because they, they sort of run down a tiny bit. So 
that is what I'm going to do and then that is the end of the day for me and later on this evening Jade and I are heading over to my mum and dad's house because my mum and dad have a new puppy so we've always had dogs uh, both uh, like myself since I've moved out and when I was child living with my uh, a child living with my mum and dad uh, we always had dogs as well uh, their one died just over uh, six months ago so they've kind of waited a while and now they've just picked up their brand new puppy this morning which they've gone for something very different from anything they've had before I believe it's called a Wheaton Terrier so Jade is literally pissing herself with excitement uh, in, the, in the knowledge that she's going to be going and seeing a puppy uh, later on so and I'm a little bit excited as well I've got to admit I love, I love animals and puppies and whatnot so yes that is uh, my evening have dinner at my mum and dad's and then head back and um, that's pretty much it guys so I will uh, catch up with you guys uh, another day uh, tomorrow in fact <clears throat> and I've got to say I think um, I've kicked ass on the vlogs I've done it every single day for uh, just over five months which considering when you go back a while I was doing them maybe you know once every so often I think I've done a, a pretty kick-ass job so major props uh, to myself there big up myself <laughs> have a great one guys peace